Hey, Tacoma Groove E&E News. Just reporting, we're outside the Walmart and University Place, Washington on Bridgeport Way. This is the Walmart Center. If you look at the Walmart Center, you could also see over the fence multiple military vehicles. There's over 30 Humvee units with uh, about 50 different lift boys, Nissan UDs. Uh, you got a fuel truck outside of military gear. This is within the Cascadian subduction zone, and it looks like they're doing some sort of emergency preparations, and they're being pretty hush-hush about it with all the vehicles stationed here. Again, there are over 30 uh, Humvees that you can see on the property. Just reporting it out, looks like things are ramping up. All right, again, uh, this is still Tacoma Groove. I'm still at the Walmart with all the military vehicles and box trucks. That's a better view of the fuel trucks or maybe concrete trucks. Uh, looks like they're storing all bricks and masonry. Building supplies, all of it seems to be concrete. They have a gravel mine yard in the back. So there's some kind of emergency building stationary here. Lots of pallets in the back. I don't see any law enforcement in the area. So I'm gonna get out of here. I don't wanna get in trouble, but you guys have been warned.
Okay, I got about two minutes time to wrap this up. Uh, today is February 7th. It is a beautiful day. A beautiful warm day for winter. It's following the solar cycle 24 uh, since about 2006 when NASA scientists predicted it would be the worst solar cycle of our time period and time period over the last 300 years period. It was really disturbing at the time. And as 2011 rolled around, solar maximum began to peak. But what we noticed is the peak was not anywhere near as high of an output as what was expected. Now in about 2012, scientists began predicting that there'd be a double peak to the cycle. And the second peak would initiate in about 2014. And again, the, the original output, while higher than the first original maximum, was higher. It indicates that there's still a period of worry or concern in comparison to the output. Now, one of the physicists I've been following lately thinks that the conveyor belt was underestimated in the simulation, which dictates that solar activity should be heightening again, and a known period for heightening is late February to early March. So, in late February and early March, I believe that solar activity and output will heighten probably where somewhere near February 24th through 26th. I believe that uh, there will be beta gamma delta spots occurring uh, quite continuously on the sun's surface and the corona will produce several uh, coronal mass ejections in the axe class variety. And I believe that these incidents may hold some kind of seismic effect on the Juan de Fuca crustal uh, ridge causing an earthquake. I believe that the buoy drop in January was an indication that the plate is now locked and uh, all of its spring mechanisms are ready to go. So I didn't have enough time to get the video all the way together and you guys are just going to have to kind of sift through the data for yourselves, but solar cycle 24 appears to be a larger cycle than normal. All right, thanks. Have a good day.